Now the man Moses was very humble, more so than anyone else on the face of the earth. Numbers 12, 3. Isn't it interesting that one of the greatest men of the faith is described as the most humble person on the face of the earth? In order to be great in the faith, one must be humble. Desmond Tutu, the former Archbishop of South Africa, claims that the key to forgiveness is also humility. He writes, ultimately, it is humble awareness of our own humanity that allows us to forgive. We are, every one of us, so very flawed and so very fragile. A human life, he writes, is a great mixture of goodness, beauty, cruelty, heartbreak, indifference, love, and so much more. We want to set, divide the good from the bad, the saint from the sinner, but we cannot. All of us share the core qualities of our human nature. And so sometimes we are generous and sometimes selfish. Sometimes we are thoughtful and other times thoughtless. Sometimes we are kind, sometimes cruel. So if we really want to learn how to forgive, perhaps we need to be honest with ourselves. Who among us has not hurt someone else? Oh, we can argue about whether hurting someone one way is worse than another. But is that helpful? Do we really want to say that hurting someone one way is okay, but not another? Are we saying that we won't forgive someone because we're better than they are? Would we want to explain that to Jesus? Humble yourself before the Lord, and he will exalt you. James 4, 10. Have a great week.